Evan, that's right. And this is a moment that's been years in the making for the family. This is something they've been working on since 2018. And with it passing now, it'll bring comfort and closure to many Native families in Oklahoma. I owe you all debt and gratitude that you can't pay. In emotional, Lorinda Morgan thanking state lawmakers and Governor Stitt for signing Ida's law today, named after her cousin Ida Beard, a citizen with the Cheyenne and Arapaho tribes who went missing in 2015. A lot of natives feel invisible and that's how the family felt about Ida's case and they felt that no one cared. The bill directs OSBI to work with the U.S. Attorney's Office and the Department of Justice to obtain federal funding to help solve cases of missing and murdered indigenous people in our state. Far too often when a native person goes missing or is found murdered, their families have to navigate a complex checkerboard of jurisdiction. That confusion makes things so difficult on victims' families during what's already a dramatic, dramatic time. But Lorinda says there was a lot of work to get this done. She first brought it to State Representative Mickey Dollins in 2018. The bill was filed in late 2019, making it to the 2020 session, but stalled because of COVID. Senator Paul Rosino and Representative Colin Walkie taking it up this session, making this years long push reality. For Ida's mother, um, this, she said, has really helped her to feel like Ida mattered. Paris Jones, KOCO 5 News.